Hey everyone, Mandy Mike here. So today we are going to give you guys a few safety tips and by no means are we uh, safety police or what is the proper word you said? <laughs> We're not certified <laughs> to, yeah. to tell you about safety, but uh, we can tell you from our experience what's worked for us and what hasn't worked and maybe help you from having problems that we've had in the past and learn from our mistakes. You got it. These are just a few tips brought to you by Michael Mahaney. <laughs> All right, here we have a used race car that I've just finished installing the seat in, and I moved some of the stuff out of the way so you can see what we're doing here. Um, in uh, Dirt Modified, we have two bolts holding the back of the seat up here and four of them down here. Um, when you have, when you buy a used seat or you've or you've got an old seat that you have to reuse and the holes don't line up and you're drilling new holes, uh, a good tip would be to take and grab a piece of aluminum that you can cover up the holes with and take it to someone to have it welded on and re-drill your holes. If, if your seat looks like Swiss cheese, it's not going to hold in the car that well. And uh, a lot of us don't have money to buy new seats all the time either. So. There's just a quick tip to help you get a little more use out of your seat rather than uh, buying, buying new ones all the time. Here we have a steel plate uh, to protect your butt from uh, a drive shaft coming apart or the rear end coming up and hitting you. Uh, this is going to protect you. I'm sure many of you have heard of people having serious injuries from stuff like that happening and this is a great improvement that uh, some classes have made so that most everybody runs one but there are a lot of divisions that still don't use them and probably should and I know sometimes it can be a weight issue but uh, all of the sanctioning bodies out there let's let's raise the weight a few pounds and, and add this in. Okay this steel seat plate just goes up under the seat like this and bolts to it. Obviously not necessary if the drive shaft in your car isn't directly under you, but uh, for those of you that run cars like this where the drive shaft's under the seat, it's a huge safety improvement. Here we have a uh, knee guard. Uh, if you're in a center steer car and your steering box is close to your knees and you get in an impact, you're probably going to make contact with that steering box. Um, this definitely helps with not only if your knees are close to these these parts of the steering box, but if the hoses are on the right side, uh, those of you that have hit them know that it leaves a pretty good bruise. So um, mounting that in there can help save your knees. So you want to make sure to cover the roof braces and the body braces that stick out in the car. You can use some padding or you can even, you know, hang a towel, a cloth, something over top of it because this is a huge hazard to bump into. You don't want to hurt anyone and you don't want to lose any crew guys. So when you're mounting your seat belts on the around the bar style where you're not bolting it on, um, and even when you are bolting it on, uh, you have to set your length and loop it through. And here I've looped it around and through the buckle and then back through the buckle. And once you've gone through there, a lot of people think that that's where you stop. You really got to go back around again and it's very hard to get it to fit through there once you've cut the end and what you got to do is take a torch and just burn this slightly and it'll stiffen it up and get rid of the frays and it makes it a lot easier to get through that third time and lock these in place so that they don't loosen up on you. 
Another thing about shoulder belts is your driver's height. Uh, when you set this, you want to make sure that you go over top of the bar and not over top of the seat. If you go over the seat, it's, it can pull on the mounts and on a hard impact it could shear the mounts. Um, you want to make sure that you set this bar or the seat to a height where it's going directly over the driver's shoulders and not pulling down too hard on his shoulders, but also make sure that it's not going uh, downward angle so it's actually not giving enough tension on the shoulders. Ideally, you'd just be straight across this bar and your shoulders would be right there. Now, if you have a Hans, that's going to raise it up. So make sure when you're setting this, the driver wears the Hans as he's sitting in the seat to set the height. Okay, when you're mounting your lap belt to a bar with the bolt, uh, you want to be behind the bar on this style so that it pulls the lap belt back and pulls you down into the seat. A lot of people make the mistake of mounting it on this side. And if you are if you got a skinny driver, it's not really pulling you back into the seat as much as it does over here. And when you install the bolt, ideally you get a stop bolt that would tighten up and then still allow this to swivel so that that angle stays where it needs to go. A lot of people tighten these down, down here, and then when you get in an impact, it'll turn up and loosen the belt on the driver. Don't touch when hot. So these are just a few safety tips that we noticed while assembling this car. So make sure that as you're assembling your car, that you contact your manufacturers and ask them for advice if you have any questions. And down. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.